Hi, I'm Nancy Teeter, registered dietitian nutritionist, coming to you from my home outside of Tucson, Arizona. I wanted to take time to go through a process with you today called eating with intention. It is also associated with mindful eating. Mindfulness is being in the moment, deliberately paying attention. And eating with intention is mindfulness plus eating with the intent to nourish your whole self. And that includes your physical body as well as your spirit. I'd like you to experience this with me. And if you want to experience this, you can pause this video and go get something to eat. It can be your lunch, it could be your breakfast, it could be simply a snack or a treat. Maybe the easiest thing for you to grab would be a couple of raisins or a square of good quality chocolate. If you pause the video, welcome back. And if you chose not to get something to experience this with me, maybe you want to re-watch this at a later time and do it. But I'm going to talk to you about what I have with me today and walk you through the process of eating with intention. The first step in eating with intention is hunger awareness. Ask, am I hungry? We certainly eat for a variety of reasons besides physical hunger. And if you're feeling something besides physical hunger, go ahead and put a name on it. Maybe you're tired, you're stressed, maybe you're a little angry, maybe you're worried, or maybe you're happy. We eat for joy as well. But take that time and name the reason that you're eating and identify how hungry you really are and then decide for yourself, what are you hungry for? So I asked myself that question before I started this, this video, and I decided that I was hungry for a chocolate peanut butter cup. Here it is. This is a Justin's mini chocolate peanut butter cup. So why do I want this? Well, it's sweet and it has some creaminess to it. And it's just going to bring me joy to eat it. So since it's going to bring me joy, I want to pay every bit of attention to it. So if you're eating, if you're following along, take whatever you have and study it. Look at it. Look at what the, the words are on the package. Look at the color and if you have a plate of food, look at the artistry that you've created on your plate. Look at the colors. Think about where this food came from, what energy sources were required to get it to you, the value of it, and then Study it, look at it, and if you can, take a, a forkful or take the product and smell it. Can you smell what that product is? What are the essences that you're getting from that item? So in the case of my peanut butter cup, I'm going to unwrap it very slowly. I'm going to pay attention to how the sounds it makes as I open the, the wrapper. Seeing that it's a different color on the inside of the wrapper than it is the outside as I see the shiny foil. And now that I've got it unwrapped, let me see if I can smell different smells than before. Mmm. I'm getting a bit of peanut butter. And even if I didn't know there was peanut butter inside, it's coming through. I'm also getting a very light um, whiff of, of chocolate. And then with our first bite, we want to put it in our mouth, a small bite, and chew it thoroughly. 
and let that food come in contact with every part of the mouth. That means the sides of the tongue, the top, underneath the tongue, every part of the teeth and gum, and just really as you're moving it around in your mouth, note what are the flavors. What do you taste? What's the temperature? What's the texture? And um, and just get every little bit out of it. It's something that requires chewing. Be sure you chew it thoroughly. Make it liquefied before you swallow it. So here I go with my first bite. Mm. So. Notice that my eyes involuntarily closed while I was doing this because I was really paying attention. And I'm on video and I didn't really want to watch myself. So the flavors I got, I didn't have I get a bite of peanut butter. I just took a small bite, and so all of the peanut butter is still intact there. So with that, all I got was just a really lovely high-quality chocolate. I one time did this with a Hershey's Kiss and I had to spit it out because the ingredients on a Hershey's Kiss is artificial chocolate flavoring and I couldn't stand the taste of it. But everything about this tasted very real. There was completely just a lovely chocolate. And it is a dark chocolate, but it is probably 70% cacao, so it melted very nicely in my mouth. So think about what you tasted in your bite if you're following along. And then you can decide, was that bite enough? Was that just like really great, but you don't need another bite? Or mm, I think I need to taste the peanut butter part of it. So I'm not going to go through that step with you because I want you to do it for yourself. But ask yourself, am I hungry now? Do I still need some more of this sweet? And for me, I can, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm no, I don't feel like I need another bite of chocolate. But as you're doing this, if you're eating a meal, put your fork down or your utensil that you're using in between bites and make sure that your mouth is completely empty of one bite of food before you move on to the next. If you have, as you're moving along, you find, you know what, I'm satisfied with the food that I have eaten. I don't need to eat any more of this meal or this snack. Then feel free to wrap it and put it away, or if it's not savable, throw it away. You don't benefit by cleaning your plate unless it fulfills a, a physical hunger. Nobody benefits from you cleaning your plate, and only the, your waistline benefits if you throw the food away. So feel free to stop. It's a decision and those decisions are not right or wrong. Your decisions are your own decisions. And regardless of how you, where you start or end, whether you finish everything on your plate or, what, or your snack and where you decide you are gonna stop or whether you finish every single morsel and love every single morsel, at the end, let the incident go. Let the meal go. You don't need to think about it again. You don't need to walk away and evaluate whether or not this was something you should or shouldn't have done. It's just something that you did. On the other hand, if you've chosen really good food, 
and you feel very satisfied with the amount that you ate, take a moment and notice how that feels. Notice how it feels to have nourished your body in a healthful manner. Notice how it feels to be satisfied. And then you don't have to think about food for probably another several hours when your physical hunger comes up again and it is time to satisfy that. I hope you have a wonderful day, that you are have a blessed day and that you're healthy. I am hopeful that you will be mindful with more of your meals, that when you eat, you will eat with intention and you don't need to diet while you're dining. Just simply focus on, am I hungry? What am I hungry for? Find the most healthful food that will satisfy that hunger and eat it with intention and eat it with joy. Have a great day.